long time ago, a place called Canada East was built. Canada East didn't want to merge with Canada West, but the British government, which still had influence over Canada, loved this option. Later, Lord Sydenham created the Act of Union to make this possible. That caught Lord Eldridge's attention. He's coming up. Wait, there he is. He later signed the... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now just hold on a second. This is the question I'll be answering. Who is in charge of responsible government? Anyways, later, Lord Elgin signed the Rebellion Losses Bill. It was kind of ironic, though, because Lord Elgin strongly disagreed with it. He was later attacked by Montreal because he signed it. Ooh. Then came along John A. Macdonald. He dreamed of creating a new country by achieving confederation. These two people played a great part in taking charge of responsible government. Well, that about does it for the, uh... Something's wrong here. Nope. Not again. Nope. Nope. Definitely not. There we go. Well, that concludes our story on who is in charge.